Whoa, it's the Japanese Classic Edition consoles. We got the Family Computer Classic Edition Mini. We got the Super Famicom Classic Edition Mini. Oh, but that's not all. The Special Edition Golden Famicom, the Shonen Jump Special Edition version. These are so unique, not just for the import connoisseur like myself, but this is not a review video, no. We'll save that for an episode of Fami Corner, perhaps. But what's really neat is how I got these cheaper than on eBay, and today I'm gonna show you how I did it. What? All right, so why did I pick these up? I mean, come on, Game Dave, Gamer David, you already have an NES Classic Edition and an SNES Classic Edition. Why you be taken from Japan? Why you be doing that? I'll tell you why, because not only are they super snazzy looking, these have unique games on them. Maybe not a whole bunch, but a couple interesting ones, like Final Fantasy III, yes, the original version of Final Fantasy III that we never got on NES. It's on the Family Computer Mini. Plus, it's got Mario Golf and a little bit of a little bit of sumo wrestling. That's always nice. And then we got the Super Famicom Classic. It's got a little Goemon. That's right, Legend of the Mystical Ninja on there. Plus, I mean, it's got Super Street Fighter 2 on there. So you had to pick it up for that. Not enough places to play Super Street Fighter 2, huh? <laughs> and then the Shonen Jump Edition. I mean, this version is so awesome. Not just because of all the jumping and the shonen in and in, but because of that gold exterior. Oh my goodness, you knew I had to jump at the chance to have a gold emblazoned Famicom mini console. Now, as I said, I did not pick these up on eBay, whether it's from an importer in America or directly from Japan, because it's a little bit more pricey than it should be. Because the family computer, it's about $75 to $80 on eBay, but keep in mind, things are always in motion. They could fluctuate, prices could fluctuate, but at the time of this video occurring, it goes for about $75 to $80. The Super Famicom, eh, about $90 to $100, and the Shonen Jump Gold Boy goes for about $100. Bucks. And this is where Amazon comes in, and not the Amazon you're thinking of, no. Amazon Japan. Yes, you, you, watching me, can make your very own Amazon Japan account right over at amazon.co.jp. Not a sponsor, but how crazy would that be? No, I just want to help you out. Now, once you're on the site, it may seem a bit intimidating at first, but stick with me, okay? It's really not that big of a deal, especially when you consider what I paid for these consoles. In the old USD, I got this family computer console for just $53.20 when converted from glorious yen. Wow. And when we get a little bit more super, I got this one for just $67.17. Wow. And this glorious golden goddess, just $80.40. 49 cents when converted from the yen. Wow. And if you do a little bit of math, you can see that I saved the amount I would have paid for yet another classic edition console. Now you might say, Gamer David, you didn't calculate the international shipping cost. Yes, you do have to pay for shipping through Amazon Japan, but even with the addition of that price, and these were all shipped together, I still saved about $30. And there's more to explore on Amazon Japan, not just getting the mini consoles. They've got games and merchandise and, and all sorts of cool import Japanese stuff. So let's get you set up. As I said, you're going to need to make an Amazon Japan account because your regular Amazon account will not work. Now, of course, there's a lot of Japanese going on, but you can easily navigate the site by going up to this little sort of globe icon next to the account button and next to the search button and you can change the language to English. All right, now you can easily read the account button, click on that and make a brand new account. This is pretty straightforward. It's what you'd expect to put your name in once, put your name in again, I guess, and then you'll put in your email and password. There you go. Now you can actually sign in with your brand new Amazon Japan account. And the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your shipping address. So you're gonna go over there, put in your address just like you would in a typical retail online marketplace. The only thing you're gonna to wanna to do, of course, is change the country from Japan over to the United States. Yes, I'm focused on the United States for this particular setup. I don't know what it would be like if you're in Europe or another country, so uh, I apologize. Okay. 
Next up in your account settings, you need to go to your payment options and put in your credit card. And now you've got your shipping set up, you got your payments set up, you're ready to start exploring the world of Amazon Japan. Sometimes you can just put in English words and you'll get some searches or at least find things that you're sort of looking for, but not always. Just because the site appears in English, it's only affecting the user interface. A lot of the products and descriptions are still going to be in Japanese. When you're searching, quick tip, it's sometimes better to put in the Japanese text instead of the English words. So for example, let's say you wanted to look up some stuff from, oh, I don't know, Suikoden. You can just go in, find how Suikoden is spelled in the Japanese characters, copy that from the internet, paste it into Amazon's search bar, and go. There you go, a bunch of cool merch and games and soundtracks from Suikoden. All right, so you've filled up your cart and it's time to proceed to check out, which is pretty simple. It should take you right to the place and order page. It might ask you to select which shipping address you want to do in your payment method, but if everything is set up properly to ship through Amazon Global International Shipping, it should take you to the place order page and it will even show you the conversion of the price in yen to the price you're going to be paying in US dollars. And yes, it'll even calculate how much you'll be paying in that international shipping. We did it! We did it! But there's one last bit of info for you. Normally, your shipments will come by DHL, which means you're going to need to sign for whatever package you have ordered. Though, a little bit before it arrives, you'll get a little delivery confirmation from DHL where you can actually pre-sign electronically and just tell them to leave it on your porch or your stoop or, or in your bushes. You probably don't want to tell them to, to put it in your bushes, though. So good luck. Just keep in mind, as of the recording of this video, the information is relevant, but things could change. You never know. Use at your own risk. But I've been using Amazon Japan for years, and I've had nothing but success. Even with shipping, sometimes things from DHL show up in two to three days, all the way from Osaka, Japan. These came in two business days. Yeah. I was pretty blown away, and I told the man to leave it in my bush. It's just a great way to get some cool Japanese goodies and soundtracks and merchandise, and it's something I really wanted to share with you. So have fun importing, and remember, as always, stay digitally distracted. I know, I'm about to get, I'm about to get digitally distracted with this old golden gal. Look at this. Woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, yeah.